I'm going to say something outrageous. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you — if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to — anyway. Okay. Um, hang on. Uh, sorry. Oh, Sing Ming, Ms. Kim. We should go back to a position of the filibuster that existed just when I came to the United States Senate 120 years ago. Um, hello, 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 hello out there. Is everybody doing? Is everybody's favorite conservative in New York? Christopher Wright. Here we just do another one of my sit back and chats. Chilling out in the park here in Brooklyn, just relaxing. Uh, I got to speak on a subject I'm sure you guys have been hearing about, and that's that uh, recent Joe Biden press briefing, his first one he's had since being elected president. And uh, what I got to say, it was horrific. It was uh, terrible. It was terrible. He barely got through it. He was sluggish, um, tripping over his words, you know, forgetting people's names, forgetting what to say. Um, There's a point <clears throat> when he was asked about what's going on with the immigration crisis happening at the border right now. And he looked confused when he asked the question. It took him a while to answer it, and when he answered it, he mumbled and wasn't able to get, like, he was dancing around the whole entire subject. Like, he was just doing a lot of talking without actually saying anything. A true politician, you know what I mean? It kind of reminded me just how politics are. Like, with Trump in for office four years prior, he changed the whole outlook so much where someone, somebody in that position of commander-in-chief can actually say things that make sense, can actually bring out policies that are going to help bring change, and actually go out and actually have action to you know, fulfill those policies in that position as president. And that's what Trump did. And what we were seeing with Biden was just him back to the politicians, doing what they do best, just dancing around subjects, doing a bunch of talking, using a bunch of words, but not really saying anything. And with Biden, he's not good at saying words. He's not good at completing sentences. And it's it's really sad. It really is. Um, there was a point where he brought up, like, the, him being in the Senate for 120 years, he mentioned. Like, and, you know, he, he, you can just tell he was just confused. It's sad. And, you know, I, and I was mad at the man at one point. But I'm more upset now at his handlers who are behind him, responsible for push, making him push his narrative. Because they're the ones that are just pushing him out there in the public eye. And they were hiding him in the basement all the way up to through the elections. But now that he's, you know, the president, they have to put him out there in some way, shape, or form. And you can tell this was kind of like, you know, something that was set up beforehand. Like this is planned. This is all, to, you know, something that was already planned out. Because even while he was getting answered some questions, he was flipping through a notepad. And I noticed at the beginning of, him speaking, I noticed that he was looking down over and over again. And I said, what's he looking at, like a notepad or something? And when he got tripped up about the immigration situation, he's like, oh, oh, hold on one second. And he went to like his like jacket uh, pocket and took out a notepad that he was reading. So that just said everything I need to see right there. And you know, that's what I'm trying to tell people like, this is the person that's in charge right now. And he's not in charge, it's his handlers who are in charge. He's just a puppet, he's just a figurehead. Like he really definition of a figurehead is sleepy Joe Biden. And, you know, he's just out there, you know, spewing out the narrative, man. And he, like I said, his handlers, uh, who I think are his wife, uh, I think, you know, Shadow Potus Obama is in his ear. I think Susan Rice uh, is also in his ear. And they're the ones who are like pretty much, all he has to do is be the physical body there to sign documents and sign away policies and executive decisions and everything like that. He doesn't know what he's doing. And when he does speak for himself and have a moment where he's actually speaking from, you know, his mind, it's off. It's terribly off. It's something that's outlandish. It's crazy. I mean, he's been in office and he's done absolutely nothing. But try to take credit for what the previous administration, what Trump's administration did before him. Um, and that's the only thing I've seen him do. He has not come with a policy to bring any change. Uh, he mentioned in this press briefing, like how he brought 5,000 beds to the border. I'm like, that's not a policy, man. I said, you didn't, that's not bringing any change. That's not an idea to push things forward, man. That's just you saying like, oh, I did this. Give me a break. You know, like I did something. And you have, you know, Camel Harris, you know, his, his VP, Kamala Harris, whatever you want to call her. She's coming out like, you know, saying, oh, you know, doing a cackle when she's asked about the immigration issue and the border. That's all she's been doing is laughing and cackling. And she, re she was recently down at the border and, you know, they had she was talking about like, you know, just using it as like a like a political tactic. And she was there talking about, oh, this little girl's coming up to me. And, you know, she's I think she's gonna be president one day. And these kids are amazing that are down in you know, getting pretty much treated like like animals, man. They're getting stacked. 
in these in these buildings like you know just some are standing up for hours while others are sleeping just crazy third world country type of behavior is happening at the border right now with the immigration with the kids and the media is not talking about it like it should be uh you know kamala harris is blowing it off biden's trying to you know biden's trying to avoid the subject totally so what i'm looking at this is just like this is leftist hypocrisy at its finest because if the roles were reversed and trump was still in office they would be using this to make him look like the most evil guy. You know, they already called him man Hitler, but they'll be using this to say, look, this is our proof that he's Hitler. And, you know, the, like I said, the left is always pointing fingers and saying, you're, you know, you guys are Nazis or Gestapo. But the only ones I see actually using those tactics are the people on the left, man. And what's happening at the, at the border is proof of that. You know, Trump actually had a solution, had a policy for the border. is to build a wall, you can look, joke all you want, but he was getting it done. And then he had ICE down there doing what their job they're getting paid to do. So Trump had it a lot better in order than what Biden has it. And you see his press briefing, the guy can't even answer the question what's going on there. He can't even tell the American people what's really happening. He's just avoiding it. He's just doing what he does best, which is tripping over words and lying. So, you know, I just really want to speak on that today. And kind of let you guys know, I'm going to, you know, I'm out here at CRA building. I'm still going to be out here speaking truth about politics and what's going on, man. But... You know, it's not easy with Joe Biden because, you know, one, the guy's boring. He has no charisma at all. But also, he's not even speaking for himself. He can barely think for himself. He has his handlers who are just treating him like a puppet and just, you know, moving his mouth and spewing out the leftist propaganda. So everybody stay strong. You know, we're going to keep fighting out here. We keep moving forward as a country. And the citizens that love this country are going to keep pushing it forward. But like always, God bless everybody out there listening. And God bless the United States of America. Peace out.